हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand time domain and frequency domain analysis of signal. In time domain analysis, the signal will be represented as a function of time. Signal will be represented as a function of time. In frequency domain analysis, signal will be represented as the function of frequency. in communication system we'll discuss the signals in terms of time domain as well as frequency domain analysis which means we need to convert a time domain signal into a frequency domain signal the process that is used to convert from time domain to frequency domain is known as fourier transform so fourier transform is a technique used to convert a time domain signal to frequency domain signal so fourier transform is a technique that is used to convert time domain signal to frequency domain signal so fourier transform will be used for conversion from time domain to frequency domain signal for example if we take a signal m of t for this if we perform fourier transform we'll obtain a signal which will be capital m of f similarly if we take a signal s of t if we perform fourier transform on that so we will obtain the signal capital s of f so m of t is the message signal in time domain m of f is the message signal in frequency domain in the same way s of t is the modulated signal in time domain and capital s of f is the modulated signal in frequency domain if we represent this signal m of f and s of f graphically the process is known as a spectrum so graphical representation of frequency domain signal is known as spectrum so we can say the frequency spectrum will give details of frequency components in a signal so graphical representation of frequency domain signal is known as spectrum and frequency spectrum gives the details of frequency components in a signal now let us see for a transform of few standard time domain signals let us take a time domain signal then that time domain signals are converted into frequency domain signal using fourier transform and finally we will write the frequency spectrum now let us consider an example of a sinusoidal signal that is represented as x of t is equal to a not cos 2 pi f not t this x of t is any general cosine signal or sinusoidal signal with amplitude a not and frequency f not for this signal if we perform fourier transform we will obtain x of f is equal to a not by 2 delta of f minus f not plus delta of f plus f not so here delta of f minus f not is impulse function at frequency f is equal to f not and delta of f plus f not is impulse function at f is equal to minus f not so here delta of f minus f not and delta of f plus f not are impulse signals now this signal is represented graphically so here to represent this signal graphically we will take in x axis the frequency in y axis the signal which is being represented now as you can see we are having a delta function at frequency f is equal to f not so we have written a delta function or impulse function at f is equal to f not and we have written one more delta function at frequency f is equal to minus f not both this impulse function will be having the amplitude a not by 2 so this is the amplitude so this is how we can represent the signal graphically now let us consider one more signal which is m of t into cos 2 pi f not 
this is the product of message signal m of t and sinusoidal signal or cosine signal with frequency f naught the frequency domain representation of the signal can be given as 1 by 2 m of f minus f naught plus m of f plus f naught so here m of f is the spectrum of uh, the message signal so m of f is the spectrum of message signal which is multiplied with sinusoidal signal and m of f minus f naught is m of f at f is equal to f naught and m of f plus f naught is m of f at f is equal to minus f naught so this is the representation of m of f so to represent m of f minus f naught we need to take the frequency f at f naught and at minus f naught we need to write the same signal m of f at f is equal to f naught and f is equal to minus f naught this is about time domain and frequency domain analysis of signals hope you have understood the topic thank you